on the screen and the stock has actually recovered from the lows. Uh, revenue growth of 18% is what Shree Cement has delivered this time around and the profits for the company had come, has come in at 291 crores versus 246 odd crores. So the uh, revenues, the income growth is very good and it is much better than what the street was expecting and that's why the stock has now moved into the green. The EBITDA number as well is much better than expected. HM Bangur, the MD of Shree Cement joins us now on the phone line to talk more about the earnings. Mr. Bangur, uh, good afternoon. Afternoon. I just want to start off by talking about the top line, which is very healthy at almost 20%. Can you take us through what the volume growth has been in this quarter and how does the second half of the year look? First of all, we talk about the bar. In the quarter, volume growth uh, is around 9%. And cement price growth is about 6%. So both put together, it is around 20% including the power sector. But on, uh, EBITDA also has come up significantly because of the low uh, power and fuel cost from 850 to roughly 1300 rupees. Okay. Mr. Bangur, good afternoon. Since you operate uh, in North India, uh, I wanted to know what's been the pricing trend and uh, do you have uh, any kind of pricing power right now with you? The pricing power is not there, was not there earlier, and these were the slack months. But because of the low cost of uh, fuel and low, because of the overall economy being weak, we were able to have good profit because of higher volume. Now in the second quarter, uh, now in the second half, uh, the demand will be good. It is the peak months. All our festivals are over by now. And from 15th November onwards, we think uh, good demand will be there. Okay, just I, I just wanted to clarify the number. You said the EBITDA per ton has risen from 850 to 1300 rupees per ton. Is that correct? <coughs> yes, I am saying so. Okay, so what do you think the uh, EBITDA per ton on an average could be for the say for the second half of the year? Is this a 1300 rupees? Is it something that you can uh, maintain? No, definitely not. This is a, a very tricky question because nobody knows how the market will behave. Mm -hmm. Cost increase is there now, definitely there now. Uh, and the fuel cost world over has increased mm -hmm. and demand also is expected to remain good. How the prices will behave, uh, nobody knows. So I will not guess about the EBITDA. I can tell that the volume increase will be there. That is all I can say. Okay, so for volume increase, uh, is there any number that you can give us? Uh, yes, uh, uh, 5 to 7 percent mm -hmm. volume increase is expected in uh, second, more, a little more, 7 to 8 percent volume increase is expected in the second half compared to first half. Okay, 7 to 8 percent volume increase in the second half. That's quite heartening to hear. How is the pricing situation in uh, certain parts like North India? Has it improved compared to what we've seen in the last three to six months? Pricing definitely is more or less stable. But in the second half, because of the cost post, uh, we will like to see the price increase, but it all depends on the market. Mm -hmm. uh, things will become clearer after say 15th of november when all the festival seasons are over and market gets stabilized the consumption starts picking up right now it is very fluid situation okay uh, so uh, you know uh, mr bangur if uh, you could just uh, give us some kind of estimates on uh, your eps numbers because you know your stock has been a rank outperformer in fact uh, uh, one of the best cement uh, stocks uh, uh, you what know. you say, any number of profits is dependent on the sales price. I, I can tell about the volume, I can tell okay. about the costings, mm -hmm. but profit number is a deriv derivative of sales price. And sales price we really don't know. Okay, fine. Fair enough. But we expect definitely better than last year. Okay, just wanted to get an update on the power business as well. Power business right now is weak. Okay. Uh, power prices have come down. Whatever shortages we are there in India, mm. now peak shortages have come down and somehow prices of power is below variable cost, so we are lying low. So what has the merchant power sale been this quarter? Merchant power sale in this quarter mm. is 
53.8 crore units, the same as in the last year, same quarter. 53.9 and 53.8, it was the 0% plus or minus. Okay, Mr. Bangur. Thanks a lot for your time today. That's She Cement. Uh